I can almost bet you that the Freemason that wrote the book of demonology has a book sitting right in your living room. King James published this book of demonology just a few years before he published the Holy Bible. It tells all about his belief in witchcraft and magic. You can see right here it was printed in 1603. So King James the Freemason got his book of demonology out before he published his version of the Holy Bible. You can just hear the angels sing with this cover, can't you? More fitting cover. Those are the witches on the cover of the King James Book of Demonology. Just know that Methuselah, Noah, and Shem wrote the history of the world as they knew it right before the flood, and these columns survived the flood. You can see right over my shoulder, that's when Shem died, and he was the son of Noah that helped write that on the columns. And right above my head is when they believe the Book of Genesis is created. Just know that right here is where Shem died. This is where the book of Genesis is supposedly started being written. And right here is where Moses comes into the picture. One thing it doesn't look like King James did was change any of the words of the Holy Bible. Because when they were found in the Dead Sea Scrolls, thousands of years later, the words matched up exactly. For thousands of years sealed up in a cave, the book of Genesis sat right next to the book of Enoch 1. And right next to the book of Giants and right next to the Book of Jubilees. And somehow, they were all taken out of the Bible over time. And in the 1940s, when we found the Dead Sea Scrolls, the truth was uncovered. I don't think old Jack Wagon over here sold too many of them books because I've never even heard of it before, <laughs> until now.